climate change habitat fragmentation, the illegal pet trade, pollution and invasive species are all pushing many animal populations into a danger zone. Once a species enters the extinction vortex, recovery becomes exponentially harder, often requiring intensive human intervention to maintain a species' genetic diversity. But scientists at one of the world's living biobanks are freezing skin and reproductive cells to stop this happening. It's called the extinction vortex, where you get less and less and less numbers. And inbreeding is what quite often makes species go extinct. So you can imagine when a pool is getting so bad, like the last two northern white rhinos on the planet, you know, they're effectively they're still alive, but effectively they're nearly extinct. And the way that we can go into our tank, grab something out of there, and actually climb back out that extinction vortex by adding in new genetics so they're not so inbred in the future.